your shirt? Oh. Sounds like someone's in pain. Oh, am I ever. Then you've come to the right place. Oh, believe me. I know I have. <laughs> come on, Michelle. What are you up to now? Yummy. Genuine leather? Yes. <laughs> um, do you need to, to get that, uh, Miss... Wanda. No. No. You were so sweet to, uh, squeeze me in your schedule. I don't want to waste one minute of your valuable time. Uh, well, uh, what <laughs> seems to be the trouble? Which, which tooth hurts? Oh, it's this one right here. It's the number 30 molar. <laughs> you know teeth. My dream is to be a dental technician. But I have to graduate community college first. <laughs> Rinse, please. What do you think? <laughs> you're, a, you're a natural. <laughs> but just uh, let me grab my instruments from the... Autoclave? Yeah, an A student already. Uh, just <laughs> let me grab my uh, instruments, and we'll see what's going on in that lovely mouth of yours. Where do you keep your um, files? <clears throat> in the other room. Why? Dental office design fascinates me as well. <laughs> Open. Oh, is that today's paper? Does it have coverage of the trial? The Santos trial? Are you following it? Isn't it so compelling and so dramatic? I just wish that I knew someone who was connected to the story so I could get the inside scoop. <laughs> I'm, I'm connected to it. The, the victim was a patient of mine. Get out. You knew Carmen Santos? What a coincidence. If you look, mm -hmm. right up in here, you can see. Was something wrong? I don't know. I don't understand. This, this file says, I mean, it has Carmen Santos's name on it, but this isn't her mouth. It's not even close. Uh, what about the rest of the file? None of this is Carmen's data. And is this the same file that you gave to the medical examiner? No, I, my, my assistant handled it that day, and, and then the ME returned it when he was finished it. But if this... Is the information they used to make the ID. And the body couldn't be Carmen's, right? It but, has to be someone else. But, but Danny just admitted to killing her. How could this be? Somebody switched the file. No, who would do that? Somebody who wants to get Danny convicted. And look at that. You have the proof right there to set him free. Assuming that you do have duplicates of all your patients' records off-site somewhere. Yeah, of course we do, in a warehouse, in, in case of fire and so. Oh, Wanda. Oh, you're a clever girl. What's that? Permission to access the warehouse. As soon as my assistant comes back, I'll send her over there to withdraw the duplicate file. We can get to the bottom of this. Oh. <laughs> now, let's get back to that tooth of yours. Mm. <laughs> do you do bleaching? I... Uh, what, for you? Uh, Wanda, trust me, your pearly whites are perfect. So the rest <laughs> oh, you're of you. so sweet, you're so sweet, but you probably do have brochures in the other room, right? Could you get me one while you're up? Would you do that favor for me? Thank you. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> your Honor, may we approach? Yes. You know, it just occurred to me in uh, People versus Dressler, the circuit... Mr. Marler. You have two choices. You get a witness up here on the stand, or you rest your case. Which will it be? Your Honor, the 
defense calls Michelle Bauer Santos to the stand, and we apologize for the delay. Well, so I have something Get up I there. I'm you. about to be killed by a judge. It's your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? You bet I do. Michelle Bauer Santos. I need to speak to you first. Your Honor, another stall? This is not the time for a strategy session, Mrs. Santos. You will answer the questions. You may proceed, Mr. Marler. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Marler! I'm sorry, forgive me. Um, Michelle. The Bowers are a highly respected family in Springfield, are they not? I think so. I mean, uh, when you say the name Bower, do you get a certain reaction? I've always been proud to be a Bower, if that's what you mean. Do you get a different reaction when you say the name Santos? Yes. Because it's Hispanic? Partly that. Do you feel that uh, some people in Springfield have a negative, stereotypical view of Hispanics? Maybe. I can see how someone who deals with criminals all the time might not realize that some of the world's greatest thinkers and artists are Hispanic. Danny and I read the poetry of Jose Marti all the time. Cuban music is, is wonderful, full of joy. The whole culture is life-affirming, full of joy. There's ballet, art, literature, uh, cutting-edge films. Your Honor, the Hispanic culture is not on trial here. You see a Santos and you think criminal, don't you? Mr. Marler, if you can't control your witness, you will be excused. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Yes, we apologize, but I'm sure that we all understand your passionate interest in your husband's heritage. It's my son's heritage, too. Yes, indeed. I believe your point was that people should not be judged based on name or background, correct? Exactly. Exactly. Danny's cousin, Father Ray Santos, is a priest. And Danny is a great husband. He's an incredible father. Anyone who knows him would tell you that he's a good, decent, honorable man, which is more than I can say for whoever put together all this phony evidence to try and frame him. Objection! Disregard the witness's last statement. What was that Hannibal Lecter bit? She looked right at you. I don't know. Sometimes I have that effect on women. Now, Michelle, as to uh, the night that Carmen Santos was killed, the prosecution has presented a theory that you wanted to meet with your mother-in-law and that you requested to be picked up at the hospital. No, I was drugged by a man dressed as a male nurse. His name was Lucas Carmichael. I didn't know his name, of course, until he testified. He said that he had to give me a vitamin shot. And next thing I knew, I was on the docks with Carmen above me. I, I thought I was hallucinating. And what, if anything, did Carmen say? That she had planned to kill me. And did you feel that she was capable of murder? Yes, she shot Ben Warren and framed me for his murder. Which is a matter of public record. Carmen was cruel and heartless, and she hated me from the beginning. From the time you first got involved with Danny Santos, correct? Yes. And she wanted to get me out of his life. And when I saw a gun in her hand, I thought for sure that I was going to die. I pleaded with her to let her grandchild live. That if she let my baby be born, that she could do whatever she wanted to me afterwards. But she said that my child was poisoned by my blood. And she wanted to kill him, too. She raised her gun at me, and that's when I heard Danny tell her to stop. It's like he appeared like a miracle. And he had to make a split-second horrible, horrible choice. 
And all I know is that my beautiful baby boy is alive today because of what he did. All right, thank you, Michelle. Your Honor, no further. <laughs>